So I'm going to work through an example now how to do an annual plan for a fighter here who's asking how to do block periodization now in preparation for a fight on the 9th of April and at the moment on the 1st of August. So we're going to go for these dates and we're going to we're going to work through plan out which blocks we want to peak for these fights. Both of these fights are actually towards the end of the week that they land in. So we can use this week as a deload to peak for that fight. So I'm going to backtrack here from this particular week going to go four weeks back and we're going to we'll finish with a speed block which is the the ideal type of block to run into a fight that's the that's the most sort of fight specific one and we're going to have that as four weeks so that's going to look like that we've got a low week a medium week a high week and then we deload on the week of the fight so that all looks good we're just going to backtrack from there we're going to go one two three four weeks back this one will now be a power block Again, we're going to have four weeks on that. So we've got those four weeks that step into this week. And then backtracking from that, the foundation for that is strength. So four weeks back there, strength block. Let's make that four weeks. And we can see how that runs into those that into that particular fight perfectly for us. So we've got three weeks of loading, one deload, and then into the next week. So we've got a four week block there of a three to one loading to deload. How this looks at the end of the previous year, 2020, we're actually having a strength block that's just going to finish up over this year. So I'm just going to represent that by put, just putting a couple of weeks in here. So that's how that's going to look. This particular fighter has said as well that um, strength and explosive power are the two elements that would serve him best in terms of developing athletic profile so we're focusing on this first fight here we've got a little bit of a, a double whammy on two blocks of strength running into the whole fight camp if you like and we're going to focus more on power for this next block so after this fight we're going to put a recovery in here as a little transition we're going to make that two weeks and then we're going to work into our next block so we're going to backtrack now from this fight date I've just noticed there's a nice little holiday coming up after that. That'd be great after the fight. Okay, so here we've got the fight week. Again, 1st of August on the week commencing the 26th of July. It's towards the end of the the, uh, the week. So that's, that's fine as a complete deload. So one, two, three, four weeks back. This will be a speed block. And we make that four weeks. And there we got the deload landing on the fight week. So that's perfect. So... We've got a mixture here of strength blocks and power blocks that would ideally feed into this. And in this particular phase or fight camp, I want the emphasis to be power. So we're going to add a couple of power blocks running into this speed block, which won't actually be full four weeks. So we're going to squash this in from each end. So if I make this a strength block, we're going to give that a full four weeks. And then these remaining weeks, we're going to have as a power block. So the way I'm going to do that, the first one, I'm going to make that a full four weeks. And then we've got a partial bit after that. So we can see here we've got two weeks. So we're going to also make this another back-to-back -back power block. But this is a little short, little peaking one, two weeks. So you can see there we've got low, medium, high, deload. And then we're going straight into another high and then deload. And then we run through a full um, four-week block, which deloads onto the onto the fight week itself and that gives us now our overall plan there for the new year so this is 2021 we've got all the dates here the week commencing here at the top and that's our plan that we're going to aim at and of course this is completely open to being changed around depending on what happens how many weeks we can just sort of rejig this depending on on what happens in reality but as something to aim at going into the new year that's what we're shooting for and that, in theory, gives us a really good run up into each of these two fights, but also focuses the most effort into the areas that this particular fighter will get the best athletic benefit from building strength and increasing explosive power and then optimizing by converting that power into speed just before the fight. So we get as, as fight specific as we can do. Mm -hmm.